Hey guys, Bertus Education here with episode 4 of the Unreal Engine 4 Beginner Tutorial Series. And in today's episode, we're going to be sh uh, we're going to be going over a brief overview of the user interface inside of Unreal Engine 4, getting you ready for the upcoming videos, including the next one where we actually start creating some content. So, what is the user interface? Well, the user interface is essentially what the user will be interacting with. You know, what they're going to be using to place different meshes in, play around with different properties, uh, you know, calling off functions, you know, stuff like that. So, the user interface really is what you're going to be interacting with and you can see all of the Unreal Engine 4, well, most of the Unreal Engine 4 interface right in front of my screen as of right now. And inside of Unreal Engine 4, it's really scalable and it's broken down into a few different settings. And I just want to go over those sorry not settings sorry areas and I want to go over those few areas in this episode those being the viewport the menu strip the modes the action bar the content browser the details panel and also uh, I'm going to be going over the project selection firstly so let's just go ahead and uh, move on to that so first and foremost whenever you open up Unreal Engine 4 you're gonna come over to this project screen from here you can choose a project to go ahead and open up so for example if I wanted to I could go ahead and choose the Virtus test project we created in the previous episode or I could go ahead and use some of the sample games that I've downloaded so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, select the Virtus test project and as soon as I've done so it will start to open up and we can begin working on that project now we're in here let's just go ahead and go over the different areas we can see so first and foremost we have the viewport the most prominent object and this is essentially where we get to view and build our world inside of 3d space this is the big little area here where we see the game inside of the engine and if I go ahead and press play you know we start to run around and play around inside of the viewport so you know having said that it's essentially just our eyes into the game so the next area I want to go over is the menu strip this is pretty simple has most of the typical menu items such as open level save new projects open project and so on Next we have edit inside of there, you know, we can go through editor project, uh, editor preferences, project settings, you know, things like that. And also Windows stuff, like we can enable different areas. I definitely advise you take a look at this uh, in terms of user interface. You can turn off different things like world settings, you know, you can, you can check stuff on, off, and so on and so forth. So... That's pretty much everything you need to know about the menu area. Next up we have the action bar as I like to call it. This has most of the important buttons that you're going to be using inside of your user interface. Those being things like save, the content browser, the marketplace, quick settings, world settings, blueprints, matinee, build and so on. And most importantly, simulate, play and launch allowing us to actually dive into the game and test what we've actually created so far so the next area I want to go over is the modes panel this is where we'll be bringing objects into our level and just doing things for example if I go to the lights panel in the, in the place section I can go ahead and bring in spotlights point lights skylights and whatever and inside of the place uh, inside of the modes tab uh, sorry, inside of the modes panel we actually have a whole bunch of different tabs for example I can go to the paint tab the landscape tab the foliage tab and the geometry tab now keep in mind I am going to be going over these in a little bit more detail in separate videos so I can teach you how to use those in depth uh, and we can use them properly so that's pretty much where we're going to be dragging all the objects and really manipulating our scene from. Next up, just below that, we have the content browser, which I'm also going to be going over in a little bit more detail. This is essentially where all of the content is stored and we can use it to, you know, view different objects inside of their respective editors. For example, uh, materials, you can view those inside of the material editor. Particles can be viewed inside of Cascade. 
uh, you know, characters can be viewed inside of the skeletal mesh editor, you know, and so on and so forth. We'll be playing around with that in a little bit more, uh, in a little bit later. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of the different things we can do in the content browser. If I wanted to, I could check out an object, I could go ahead and, you know, fly around it, play around with different properties, or even just go ahead and drag that object into the scene, as simple as that. So the next uh, the next area I wanted to go over is the scene outliner. This essentially just shows us all of the different objects inside of our scene, and we can go ahead and select these. We can you know delete them. We can edit them. You know and so on and so forth. And all of this can be done through the details panel just below it. So when I go ahead and select the global post process volume. Uh, I can go ahead and play around with some of the different settings here, like turning on all the different uh, post-processing settings. You know, it's pretty much what you do. So having said that, anything that I select can actually be uh, changed inside of the details panel. So for example, if I go ahead and select this physics object in my uh, viewport here, I can then go ahead and uh, play around with different properties for that. For example, I could change the mesh, I could change the material, I can do all sorts of things from here, just generally playing around with the properties for different objects. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to go over. So what I'm just going to do quickly is just press play get into the action just to show you how to debug your game, how to get in there and play and uh, hopefully now you should be ready to go ahead and move on to the next episode where we'll be creating our very own content. So go ahead and play around with the user interface, try and get used to it and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!